it's good. It's, there's a, still a lot of countries, a lot of places that are against. So we still can open up more doors. What countries are against uh, MMA a now? A lot of European countries are really? still like... Uh, it's starting to make its way. Like this guy's from France. Just just yeah. now, last year, I think, starting France and mm -hmm. Spain. Well, France has some great guys too now, though. You know, uh, Cyril Gaon and uh, Cedric Dumbe, who fights for uh, PFL, who's an elite kickboxer. Yep. It's... um. It's just, and then you got, of course, you got those guys from Dagestan. That's an interesting element too. Those Russian wrestlers. I don't think just because of their wrestling. I think it's because of their discipline. Mm -hmm. And I tell a lot of people that those guys don't think about anything else. Just yeah. train. They're yeah. Discipline about. Very it. religious. <clears throat> very disciplined. Very focused. Yeah. There's no. The the girlfriend or wife, they're not thinking about any of that. No partying. There's no partying. Uh -uh. That's all they do. Get up, yep. train, sleep, yep. eat, train. So, yeah, they don't think about anything else. They're just more, I think they're more disciplined mm -hmm. than this side of the world. Yeah, I was watching this uh, interview with uh, Khabib where he was talking. Well, it was a conversation that he was having with someone who was talking about young people that it's so important that they maintain focus because a young guy who's really talented and is above and better than everybody else when he's 18, sometimes they'll slack off and then they come back to it when they're like 22. But then by then they're average and everybody else has gotten much better and they lost that advantage and they'll never, they won't be special. But the guy who's 18, who's above and beyond everybody else in the gym, that guy, if he can maintain that discipline and maintain that focus, then he can go on to become a champion. Yeah, yeah, I totally believe on that. It's the discipline. Yeah. It's it, not because they're better wrestlers or, nah, because they're better strikers. You find very good wrestlers everywhere in America. Yeah. Top wrestlers in the world over here. Mm -hmm. Olympics. Yeah. See, but... But I think the discipline is what what's missing a lot of people. They don't take Sunday offs. Right, right, right. So, oh, it's Sunday. Or we're gonna rest. No, no, not for them. Not for those guys. What was training <clears throat> like for you, like during UFC one? Training. I never really party. So I, I understand because I'm on that philosophy. I would say good. I, before, like a month, two months before the fights, a month before the fight, when I was fighting in Japan, when I went to fight in Japan, a month before the fight, I would have moved out of the house. So I don't have to deal with the, with the kids, with the woman, nothing. So a month before. And... Hardy would come over and have a talk with me and my father, and it's like, okay, there's no babysitting, there's no hanging out with the kids. Yep, none of that. Just Spartan training. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, and, and I understand. I was like, okay, I'm a soldier, man. You tell me to do it, I'll do it. Um, there's not, there's not a doubt. You see, they say do it, done. So you cannot. Hang around with the kids and babysit, and the kids are little. They're all grown now, but it's like, nope, okay. I can cut it off, not a problem. And a lot of discipline on that to say goodbye to the family. <laughs> you got to go train, you got to go spend a month away. And what was a day's <clears throat> training like? Did you do any strength and conditioning back then, or was it all just jujitsu training and, and position training and drills? It was a lot of uh, in that order. You have to know what you're doing. That's how I learned from my family. You have to have endurance, then becomes power. Yes, I did a lot of strength and conditioning, but a lot of endurance. Endurance was before the strength and strength. So yeah, even till today, it's like, it's knowledge. If you don't know how to fight, right. you have no business in the cage. Right.